All right, I'm still trying to figure out how to see it on my computer. All right, do you guys know, how are you seeing this right now? Just from my page? Can you guys hear me? All right, so you can't hear me. All right. Let's see here. There we go, live stream, let's go. Mute that. All right, guys. Let's get started here. Oh, sick, we're at nine people already. My goal is to have um, at least 10 or more during the live stream. So we're pretty close. Oh, everyone say hi to Ulani here. Can you do some tricks? There you go. Get down. Go. Go away. Okay. Ulani, move, please. Thank you. She just wants to be famous, too. All right, so we're at seven people. Let's go ahead and start. Um, so welcome to my second live stream ever. And we're gonna be doing a quick collection video, um, some giveaway and contest announcement. And then at the end, I'm gonna answer a few uh, airsoft related questions um, or YouTube related questions, whatever you guys um, got for me. So first, we're going to start off with the pistols. Uh, this one right here, I just got from a mystery box. That video is uh, uploading soon. This is a non-blowback CO2 pistol. And it has this little stick magazine. And the CO2 goes in here. And it's got this weird thing where you, when you shoot it, the barrel comes out. So that's pretty weird. Um, and the safety on this, it's just like that. So this also will be up on the website soon in a few days, pretty much after when the video uh, is posted here. Okay. Next we have this mystery pistol here. This is actually, I'm not going to show you guys because it's a mystery. Um, this is the mystery gas blowback boneyard pistol that's on the website. Um, it comes with two magazines, this carrying case. I just replaced the loading nozzle. Um, the magazines just need new O-rings and it comes with two. All right, so for the pistols here, I got two high kappas. This is the black one. I think it's like the John Wick one or John Wick style. Um, it's got a really cool extended magazine release. CO2 powered. All right, that's awesome. Okay, CO2 powered, extended magazine release, fiber optic front sight post. Pretty cool, I like this rose gold-ish barrel. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not my favorite one, but it's super comfortable with this new grip here. Okay, this is also on the website, 165. It retails for 195 and free shipping. All right, let me just let Ulani outside real quick. All right, we're back. Line just wanted to leave. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, the Kelvin, Full, SL, Riley, 
How are you guys doing? GTA 5 Modder. Welcome to the club. Oh, we broke the goal. My goal was a, was 10 or more, and we're at 11. So that's pretty awesome. Keep it up. All right, so next we have the last pistol I had. This one's my favorite one. Um, it's the EMG Salient Arms High Kappa. This one is CO2, but I love this one more because it's a little bit lighter than the other one. But also this color scheme. Silver and gold. That's pretty lit. Um, it's got trademarks too. Las Vegas, Sailing Arms, its own serial number. Um, this one also has that fiber optic front post. But this one has um, a beveled out real rear sight post. So it increases your sight picture. And it's got holes up here for top rail. For, so you can put your uh, red dot on. Um, yep, also CO2 powered. This one's pretty cool. Um, it's a little shorter actually than this one here. Just by a little bit. Okay. Which one's your favorite out of these two guys? The silver one or the black one? Both CO2 powered. Black. We got one vote for black, two votes for black. Really, no one likes the silver one? All right, three black. So, yes, finally, someone said the silver one. All right, well, I'm going to say everyone likes the black one so far, except for the select few cool people. All right, so that's it for pistols. Um, next, I'll move on here. I only have one shotgun, but it's this one. Uh, I don't have a Desert Eagle, sorry. Uh, this is a shotgun here, Fabrum Arms spring-powered shotgun. It's a tri-shot shotgun. Um, this is probably like, I haven't had a lot of shotguns. I've only had a few. Um, but this is probably one of the best package deals for the money. Um, one, it's tri-shot, so it shoots three at a time. Um, so you can shoot someone in the face three times simultaneously. That's pretty cool. It's got a bottom rail here, top rail here. It comes with these cool fiber optic sights that are removable. But the cool thing is, it's shell feeds on the standard TM shotgun shells. It's pretty satisfying to look. It just feels really cool. It doesn't feel cheap either. I know some of the spring shotguns that I've used, uh, those ones kind of feel, feel a little cheap. Oh, welcome from Pakistan. Uh, we're from the US here. Uh, I'm not doing an AEG giveaway. Um, we'll get to the giveaway news after I get through the collection. Um, so this one comes with one shell, but also comes with two other battery-powered shells for this, like, augmented reality shooting game. Um, I couldn't really figure out. It was really confusing, and I don't think my phone was up to date, so I'd never really tried it, but um, I've heard it was fun. This one's on the website for, I think, like 65 bucks, so it's $20 off retail value. That's pretty cool. Um, it should be CQB friendly. The turtle giveaway, um, that's going to be a surprise. Okay, so now we're going to move on to rifles um, for the AK section. All right, this one here, I got this a while ago from Fox Airsoft. It's G and G GKM um, 74 or something. This one's super heavy, it's full metal. Um, it's got a folding stock. So, you know, since it's Airsoft, you could maybe run it like this if you wanted to. 
it's got a cool hole right here. So if you guys got like Slim Jims or cheese sticks or candy bars, um, you could definitely fit them in this little compartment here. So if you ever get hungry and you're snacking, this is the one to go with. Um, I think one of the most satisfying things about this one here is this bolt. It's super heavy. I'll be quiet so you guys can hear this. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, so another cool feature is the magazine. So right now there's like a shortage of AK magazines, but this one comes with um, a mid cap. And not just any mid cap, it comes with an extended follower. So no more dropping BBs or not shooting all BBs out of the magazines. Um, it might hold sandwiches. You could probably tape a sandwich on the end here, you know, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed. Or you can tape a sandwich here or a juice box, whatever you guys snacks favorites are. Yeah, so I was saying this mid cap, I think it's like 150 rounds, but it has that extended mag release, uh, extended mag follower. So you're going to shoot every single BB in the magazine. So when you take the magazine out after it's empty, no BBs are going to fall down, you're not going to waste any, and you're going to get every single shot. So that's really cool. Um, so the last thing that I think is really unique about this gun is the way that it solves um, a battery problem for the AKs. Now, most AKs either have the battery in the stock or up here in the upper receiver. But the issue that I've had with my other AK, my Ditac AK, is when I put the battery in, I'll actually show you. I put the battery in the top here. There's not a whole lot of space. It's got this connector, and it's got the big battery, and when I go to close it, it doesn't always close all the way because there's so much um, not enough extra space, and there's those connectors, and since the LiPo battery has that extra, that extra piece plus the part that goes into the gun, so there's a whole lot going on, and it makes it kind of cramped, and I'm not able to pull the charging handle back. So what this one does... Instead of having the, the battery up here, it's actually in the handguard here. Yeah, that's crazy. So, um, G and G said, we'll give you a battery in the handguard. Um, and this thing is LiPo ready. It's so LiPo ready that they include a 7.4 volt LiPo battery and charger in the package. So that's pretty cool because you don't have to worry about, um, you know, too much, not enough space up here. You don't have to worry about finding the right battery size, the right battery voltage. Um, you just gotta plug this in the charger. When you're done, boom, pop it on. And you're good to go. You can slide this down. So that's pretty cool. It's quicker, uh, it's faster. Kind of solves a lot of the battery problems that I've seen with AKs. Okay. Yeah, so definitely not using real guns. <laughs> um, all right, so next, this is my personal favorite AK. I'm sure you guys may have seen the video. This is the Ditec uh, MB47. And I've used the Echo One mid caps. These things fit beautiful. There's no mag wobble. And I can even hold it like this if I really wanted to. So that's pretty cool. Um, I got a couple of these. Um, I also have a gate titan in here. I have this tracer unit and this red dot. Um, flat hop and upgraded motor. So this one's a lot of fun to have. All right, we're at 11 people still. That's pretty awesome. We're breaking the, my goal here. 
that's my opinion on arson. Um, not a fan of it. If it's illegal, don't really condone that. Put that there. All right, let's see what else you guys are saying. J. Cole, again, blast off air sauce. The QR code in the bottom of the screen, that is my watermark. Um, so there's this cool feature on YouTube that you can watermark your videos. So you're allowed to upload a small icon. So I actually uploaded the QR code with the link linked to my page. So if you were to scan that code, it would, it would go up right to my page. So it's kind of like a cool way to say, a uh, cool way to watermark the video. All right, next we're going to move on to the M4s. So we got this one here. It is the VFC Avalon. I don't remember the exact name. Um, this is a really high-end gun. It's full metal on the rails here, receivers. Uh, I think the most unique thing about this gun is this stock. Who here has seen the e-bike expensive cheese stick holder video? Because if you've seen that video, you know what I'm about to show you. The most expensive cheese stick holder on the market here. So, open up the back here. Yeah, you can put your battery here. But, better yet, you can store snacks. Look at that. Boom. You can easily fit a Slim Jim in there or a cheese stick. You can even fit two Slim Jim and cheese stick. I'm not making you a sandwich. I already ate my sandwich. But the best thing is you can actually take these off to increase uh, or decrease the profile of the stock. So if the stock's too big for you or too bulky, so you got like a mesh mask on or a dye mask. Um, oh, you could put, yeah, you could put hot dogs in here. Really thin, small hot dogs. So yeah, so if you have like a mesh mask on or um, like a dye mask, it really just decreases the profile here so you can have more room on the cheek well. It's also got like super comfortable um, controls here. This is the magazine release. It's really, really nice place for one. It's also on both sides. Right here too. It's got like a finger rest. Um you can get controls. And I think my favorite part here is the working boat catch. Do that one more time. Just super satisfying. This one's gonna come with it's on the website too. It's gonna come with this 250 round high cat or mid cat magazine. These are like one of the best uh, M4 mags on the market. And if you're in you play Nilsen where there's like a 500 round um, capacity and what you can carry, um, you only need two of these. One on the gun and one on your on your person. This eliminates space and weight, so you can carry um, more tools, guns, um, smoke grenades, pistols, grenades, anything else. Basically just increases the amount of stuff you can carry by decreasing the amount of magazines that you actually need. Yeah, the color is really nice. This is a VFC, not GMG. Um, I don't have any gas blowback rifle or SMGs right now. Um, I do want to get the SMC9, if you guys know what that is. Okay. It's got these flip-up sights. Boom. So this is on the website for sale. Put that there. All right, I got one more M4 for you guys. This is the overhyped, but understandably hyped. This is a Crytac. I even kept the tag on just to prove it to you guys. 
this um, has similar features to, to the other one. It's got the flip up sights. It's got a working bolt catch. That's pretty cool. I do like this dust cover. You don't see too many of those. Rotary hop. That's pretty standard. Um, can you send gifts on here? No. Unfortunately not. Um, but you can tip me on my website. Um, the link should be in the description. Uh, this comes with uh, a mid-cap Crytac magazine. These are also super nice. One of the best ones on the market as well. Um, Crytac recommends that you only use their 0.28 gram BBs for this gun. Um, kind of, kind of a dick move because they're like, you know what, other, other markets or other companies BBs aren't as good as theirs. It's a good marketing strategy for sure. Um, the name of this gun actually is the Barrett Rec Seven. It's got trademarks. Uh, do I prefer to upgrade my guns or keep them stock? Um. I prefer to upgrade them. I mean, unless they're like this, when they're pretty much already upgraded. Um, like this grip here is one of the best grips I've ever had in a gun. Um, it's got grooves for your fingers, but it's not they're not too deep to where my fingers are stuck. It's just perfectly comfortable. Um, but for upgrades, I usually do like a flat hop, motors, inner barrels. Um, kind of keep it simple but um, also like also effective. So that's what I recommend. I also recommend MOSFETs, like in the DITEC AK. Uh, I think that just increases the performance of the gun um, significantly and also just makes it more fun if your gun's better than that everyone else's. So this one's also got ambidextrous. Cool stock, it's not as cool as the other one. I mean, I, you could probably put snacks in here. Maybe, maybe in there. Definitely more of a big sandwich on this one. But I got this in the BLA. Paid two hundred dollars for the box, and this gun is like four hundred and fifty dollars. So can't complain, honestly. I'll also put this red dot on it, tech box, and flashlight. These three things don't come with the gun, but everything else does. The sights. It also comes with a, a black flash hider, but I didn't put that on yet just for the purpose of this video. So YouTube doesn't shut me down. I really like this one I have too. Okay. Put that there. Alright, so which M4 do you guys like better? The VFC Avalon or the Crytek Rec 7? Oh wait, let's vote right now. First three votes determines which ones you guys like. No votes. Avalon. There we go. Finally, some of them. Thank you, Blast Off Airsoft. Um, we'll wait for two more people. Which one do you guys like? The Avalon or the Crytek? Oh, it's tied. Okay. Oh, wow. It's still 2-2 two two here. Who's going to break the tie? All right, tie has been broken with the Avalon. Wait a few more seconds if anyone else wants to vote. Also, like, thanks for guys being here. We got, we were at 10 people for a solid, like, couple minutes. Um, we're at 9 now. That's still pretty good. I think we peaked at, like, 12. All right, so last and certainly not least, this is my favorite gun ever, um, the ASG Scorpion Evo. Um, if you guys know me on Discord or just in person, you know how much I love this gun. There are only a few upgrades in this gun. And this is only one of a kind, too, because I've modified it to fit the Titan battery. The big 11.1 the big volt Titan battery in this small, compact package here. Um, that was, like, one of the few downsides to this gun. I, I was tied between this and the Chris Vector. Um, two equally amazing guns, but this one's a little better, so I guess this one's not equal to the Vector in my opinion, but 
what I did is I took out the bolt catch, the dust cover, and the, the bolt, all that mechanism to make room for the battery because it turns out it fit perfectly along the top of the receiver right on top of the gearbox. Um, and without the bolt and the, the mechanism there, it didn't decrease the function of the gun, just that extra cool realism style. But I would easily upgrade, um, easily switch that for something that actually affects the performance of the gun, and that's having the, the right battery. ASG does have specific batteries for this, but um, they're just not as good as a Titan battery, hands down. Um, for upgrades, I only have a Type Bar Barrel and a Maple Leaf Hop Up. Um, that's really all I got in this one for upgrades. It's pretty good by itself. It doesn't really need upgrades. It's, uh, it's got pre programmed um, four firing modes, full auto, three round burst, which is pretty lit, semi, and safe. I also got this magazine clamp because the magazines are only 75 rounds. So you gotta have at least more than one. I have three, two here and one on my plate carrier. I have this, uh, when I'm outside, I'll use as an amplifier, but when I'm indoors, I'll use the tracer unit that's on this one here. Um, and also these, the optics are for sale on my website too. They come in a package with a flip up zoom so you get 3x, 5x, and 4x packages with this um, this optic here. And I don't know, people always say to protect your optics with those covers, but this thing's been shot a few times. I don't know if you can see this. Probably not, but there's a few marks up here because it's been shot and it hasn't broken or cracked. Hey, welcome, Educational Vibes. I love the name. Um, that's it for this. Um, do you guys like this or the Chris Vector better? Let's vote. Scorpion or Vector? Let's hear it. Scorpion or Chris Vector? Yes. Blast off Airsoft is with it right now. Also, if you guys don't know, it has a folding stock and removable stock, but like, I just like this whole profile here. The scorpion, scorpion, yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys know what's good, then. Okay. All right, so that's it for the guns. Take a good look. The rifles, the shotgun, SMGs, and pistols. Um. Before we get into the next part, which is the gear, we're going to do what you all have been waiting for, and that's the giveaway contest announcement. So, in the Discord, there is a Airsoft Reload contest in one of the channels. Um, that has been going on for a week or two in the Discord already, but um, I haven't announced when it's ending, so... It's going to be ending next Sunday, so I think that's July um, yeah, July 25th at noon Eastern Standard Time. The reload contest will come to an end, and the winner will be chosen. So for the prizes for the reload contest, there's going to be two winners. There's going to be a winner um, of the rifle. I guess the best rifle reload is going to win... This brand new rifle magazine pouch. And they hold, um, for example, here, they hold M4 mags like they're nothing. So that's like you'll never lose your magazines again. I run them upside down because when I'm shooting and I reload, I can just pull down. And then up because if cause they're they're pretty tight, so if you want to run them um, upwards, um, make sure your vest is fitting well because they might might pull up on your vest because they're pretty tight. So I think they're best to run down or on your belt 
If you have a sturdy belt, then you can just do it easily. Um, they also hold AK mags beautifully. As I said before, I do use these. And you know how weirdly shaped these ones are, so. It's perfect. Shake it out, it's not gonna come out. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty tight squeeze. So you just pull it down and you can reload right there and there. So the best rifle or I guess the best rifle or whatever gun whose magazines fits in these pouches, they're gonna win one of these. Um, and then the best pistol reload or SMG reload, you guessed it, is gonna win a pistol magazine pouch. But this one is in gray. So that's pretty awesome. Um, these ones also come with a belt clip, so you can run it on your vest with these, uh, this molly attachment, or you can put it on your belt right here. Um, and I do run these with my scorpion magazines. Um, so, so they fit. This is a high cap magazine or high kappa CO2 magazine. And as you can see, fits perfectly. So those of you who have pistols, um, this is one of the thickest and heaviest pistol magazines out there. And it holds it perfectly. Pretty tight too. Um, so that's for pistols. It also obviously holds the Evo magazines as well. Yeah, this is pretty bulky too. It's got two, but it's holding them on like a, like a champ. So they're not like super overly tight to where you're not going to be able to reload fast. I think they're just tight enough to where if you're running around, you're not going to lose your magazines. How many of you guys have actually lost a magazine while playing airsoft? Because it is one of the worst things ever, especially if you have like proprietary magazines or like expensive magazines. That's like one of the worst things ever. Okay, so just to recap, the Airsoft Reload Contest is going on in the Discord. The link for Discord should be in the description as well as a link to the website. So if you don't win them, you can still pick these up on the website. Um, the best rifle or larger gun reload is gonna win one of these and the best pistol SMG reload is going to win one of these. Uh, make sure you guys read the rules carefully because um, if you're not following the right format, then your post will be deleted. Unfortunately, I had to delete a few already due to some rule violations. Um, but here, these are the prizes. Pretty sick. <coughs> Pretty sick. Black and tan. Um, and gray with these ones, actually these loops here you can even put this one on this one so if you go and pick up a few of these off my website you can boom that saves so much space on your plate here for your belts so now you have everything right here you can put like flashlights grenades um, water bottles snacks anything else you want on your other um, other mounting um, accessories so it's a pretty cool they're stackable and they're pretty tight. All right, so that's it for the giveaway news. And these, unfortunately, I can only ship to the U.S. So it's, it's a U.S. only contest. If you do win the contest and you're not in the U.S., um, I can maybe send you the value of these through PayPal or give you, like, Discord Nitro for a month or something. Um, we'll work it out. All right, so the last three things I have, I'm going to go over them, and then I'm going to answer a few questions that you guys might have. Um, so this I actually made a post about. Who knows what this is? This is pretty sick. If you guys are Halo fans, Alien fans, Alien Gun fans, 
alien loadouts, space loadouts. This here is the, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like an alien rifle conversion kit. So you can take your standard boring M4, that's right, I'm pointing at you. You can attach these things on here. This is the front end right here. It's got a huge rail, the inner barrel, see that? That's metal. Um, and then it also has, this thing lights up. You see that? That's pretty sick. So, what you can do, if you really want to go out with it, you get these lights going, and you pop on a tracer unit. So you'll literally be shooting laser beams. That's pretty cool. Turn that off. And here's the stock. It's a pretty standard size stock, but what's cool is it has a battery level indicator. So, pop this in. Boom, your battery goes in here. And if you're on a LiFo battery, you plug it in here and into your gun. So that's like, so it's going to tell you um, based off percentage wise what your uh, LiFo battery is like at. So that's pretty cool if you have like a multiple games or all day events. Um, you'll be able to see um, how much longer you could play or if you got to swap your batteries out. Just put this away here. Um, and this is also on the website. Basically, all these are on the website for sale. Um, I got tons of discount codes, free shipping on orders 50 or more. All right, so this is kind of with the theme of that uh, alien conversion kit thing. This is a plate carrier, and it comes with like two pistol pouches, an admin pouch, two magazine, rifle magazine pouches, double, triple, utility pouch, uh, this radio pouch. It's got hella space for all your accessories. You can even put your, your plates in here. I think it comes with, yeah, it comes with some foam plates already. So I feel like, and this free patch too. So this and uh, this conversion kit is like already half of like a space themed loadout. So if you guys want to look space themed or just stand out from everyone else, boom, there you go. And I might I might use that if no one picks it up. It's black, it's like black serpent. You don't see that every day. And last but not least, we have this tan chest rig. It's a tan serpent. Same situation, just kind of like half the package here. It's only the front. It's got adjustable straps, um, admin pouch here, magazine pouch, utility pouch. It's the same thing, basically, just some tan. So this is more lightweight. If you just want to run kind of more streamlined things in the front, not too bulky, or if you got a backpack, like a hydration pouch, um, that's pretty much good for and it comes with these two patches here. All right, so that's it for all the gear that I have for display. Um, if you see my other videos, you see um, what my plate carrier is and the other magazine pouches that I use. But now I'd like to open up the floor to any questions here. Let's see how much time we got left. Um, yeah, so maybe 10 minutes. Um, I'll answer some questions if you guys have anything about starting Airsoft, YouTube, if you need help with Airsoft, any, basically anything Airsoft or YouTube related, um, I can answer those questions. Who's your favorite ambassador? Um, that's tough, that's tough. Uh, I can't really choose favorites, but one of them that's performing really well is Blastoff Airsoft. Um, he's actually in the chat right now. Click on his page, check his page out. He's doing really good with advertising and promoting. Would you be up to making a shim video? Like a gearbox shim? 
Um, yeah, so gear back. So I'm not personally a tech. I have a lot of experience doing tech work, but on the website we have um, tech services, and that includes shimmy and stuff like that. But if you guys really want um, a video, I can see if some of our techs are open to making um, some how to help videos for sure. Okay, any other questions? Thanks, Dan. Really appreciate it. So we're at eight people still, but that's way more than last time. Oh, we're at nine now. Welcome to whoever just got here. Um, oh, people just left. Sad face. That's fine. So any, anyone have any more questions? Airsoft questions, YouTube questions? If not, I'm going to log off in a few minutes. When are you going to do gameplay? So last weekend, I did gameplay with this. I did this live on Miami Airsoft, um, some live gameplay with that. was kind of a success, kind of not. The actual gameplay itself was cool. Um, because it was cool, like it was live interactive, like you interact with fans and stuff. But the actual situation, we got spawn traps, so I couldn't really get out on the field and get um, some action shots. But next, next weekend, um, I'm going to be doing some more live gameplay with uh, this one here, the Ditech, the Gate Titan. So it's going to be really snappy shots, really um, high rate of fire. So that might be um, that might be fun to watch. I don't know yet. So maybe next weekend we'll do some gameplay. When will Squad get a promotion? What kind of promotion does Squad want? Um, what state am I in? Right now I'm in Florida. As I said earlier, I just played at Miami Airsoft last weekend or two weekends ago. Thanks, Demon Slayer fan club. I will definitely keep it up. As long as you keep coming back, um, watching and subscribing, then you got yourself a good deal. It's a win-win for both of us. All right, two more minutes here. More peeps near. What part of Florida are you moving to, and what part of Florida are you currently from? Let's hear it. Orlando, nice. Yeah, that's like uh, four, four-ish hours for me. So it's not, it's not close, but it's not far. It's definitely a, probably meet up and play airsoft someday. There's, there's a lot of fields down here in Florida, basically because it's summer all day, or all year. Oh, I hear Ulani. Hold on. All right, everyone say hi to Ulani. Yeah. She wants to fight. Oh, she's in play mode. All right, any more questions? Got one more minute left. Time for one more question. Who wants to be the last question? Any girl advice? Uh, what's up, Bacon? Any girl advice? Well, this is more of an airsoft channel, but if you want some girl advice, um, just be yourself. That's all. So like I got to say, if she likes you for who you are, then it's a good deal. All right, one more airsoft related question. Spin. Yeah. Oh, this is the Ulani Fan Club shirt that I sold, used to sell. I sold a few of these, um, but limited edition. There's only like four I've never made, so next time they're out, you guys can definitely pick them up. All right, so what do you think of MP5 airsoft guns? Well, SMG guns, I love MP5s. My first ever, I guess, AEG was an MP5. It was like an LP, a low-power AEG off like Amazon. But I, I love how it like feels 
like the it's not too big. Um, it feels good, and I think they just they just look cool. HK slap that all day. AK or M4? Um, I would say AKs right now. Like these M4s are cool looking, but I feel like this is just way better. So yeah, and AK, AK gang. What style of rifle? Small, compact SMG. Like this might not be an SMG technically, but since it's airsoft, I'll call it an SMG. Anything that's really small um, and offers like a, a good firepower, I guess. Cause, like pistols are fun, but AEG or gas blowback SMGs are more fun. So that's my answer for that. Oh, we got tons of questions now. What do you think about people who still haven't gotten your patch yet? I think that they're sleeping. The pre-order sale is almost over. Um, basically, the pre-order sale, they're, I think, $7.99 right now. Um, but once they actually arrive to me physically, um, the pre-order sale is going to be over, and they go back up to either $9.99 or $10.99. So if you want to save a few bucks and support the channel, order the patches now. you got like, maybe a week or so before they arrive. I mean, if you guys if you guys have more questions, keep them away because we got tons of activity right now. And Uwani is still trying to fight. Get out of here. Okay. AEG or gas? Um, I guess if I had to choose. I like both. AEGs are fun because there's a higher rate of fire, like high, higher volume of fire. So um, I used to run a gas blowback SCAR, um, and that was fun. But what I was running into is there's people with AEGs, and they would be able just to hold the trigger down and shoot, like, hundreds of BBs at you. And you're kind of pinned down. You can only shoot one or two um, rounds at a time with a gas blowback. So um, I like the realism and the feel and the ability to like manipulate and, and have all that the extra ASMR with the gas blowbacks but I think AEGs are just better because more people use them so you're you're more um, competitive with them yes blowback is cool I do like the blowback but if you're facing a lot of AEGs um, then that's kind of where you're going to want an AEG is what it is I guess all right finally people are logging off Okay, see ya. It was nice seeing you guys. All right, I'm at two minutes. I was supposed to end it at like one, but uh, since we're having such a great time, I'm gonna extend it to 120 here. So actually, one more question this time. This is the very last question. The first one I see, um, I'm gonna answer it, and then and I'm gonna sign off. Oh, by the way, I have my AirPods Pro in here, so you know we're we're part of that life. All right, last question, who wants to answer it? Yeah, semi-only, yeah, I've seen some semi-only fields. When I used to live in New York, um, there was an outdoor field that was semi-only, and that was kind of lame, because I brought my drum mag for my Evo, and I wanted to use burst fire or full auto, because I have a drum mag, and we couldn't, so it was kind of a waste of time. Can you show Ulani and her sister? I can show Ulani. Um, her sister is, she lives with my uh, friend who's in the Navy, so she only gets to visit a few times, but let me go grab Ulani real quick. Come here. Here she comes. Get in there. What? All right, she's in play mode. You're just going to have to watch the the playback. All right. One more question. I'm just addicted to these questions, guys. I know I keep saying one more, but this is a lot of fun. Yeah, she's being a little annoying. Okay. 
All right, any more airsoft questions in the next 10 seconds or else I'm signing off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hi, full. Where was I? 7, 6, 5, Oh, yeah, definitely get those patches, guys. Three, two, one. All right, that's it. I had a call for today. Thank you guys for showing up. We broke my goal of 10 or more people at once. I think we had 11 or 12 for a solid few minutes. So that's really cool. Um, join the Discord for the Rep Reload Contest. It ends next Sunday the 25th. And if you want any more um, live streams, hit me up on Discord, um, and I take tons of um, feedback there, and I'm always looking to improve my content for you guys. All right. Have a good night.